Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to play the solo section to carry on Wayward Son on guitar. Let's jump right into it. When I googled exactly which key the song was in, I got three or four different answers. So my answer is that it's in A minor and then modulates to E minor in different parts of the song. In this specific section of the song, a lot of the soloing is in E minor or the G major scale. We're starting the solo off on the lowest part of the neck. Just keep in mind that the first note starts on the and of the beats. By the way, I have the tab available for free for you guys, link in the description for those of you who like to see things written out. That part sounds like this. So that part is going to be G string two zero, D string two zero, and then A string three zero three, and then a staccato open D string. And then on that low E string, it's three five, and then the top notes of a D and C bar chord. It's going to be the 7th fret D string and G strings, and then 5th fret D and G strings. Sounds like this. Now repeat that first phrase again, but starting with the open A string. The only changes you're going to hold on the D chord, 5th fret, D, and G strings. Feel free to add some vibrato to it. From that point, you're going to repeat that entire passage one more time. Now we're going to sync up with the bass on this next part. It's going to be open E and 7th fret A string. On the A string, it's 7, 5, 4, 2, and then on the E string, it's 5, 3. From that point, it's 5th fret A and D string. <laughs> Repeat that phrase, but the ending is slightly different. On the A string, it's seven, five, four, two, back to the five, and then a chromatic walk up on the E string. It's two, three, four, and then three, zero on the A string. Sounds like this. After that, it's the original progression repeated twice. So then after that, we're going to take it up to the 20th fret with a whole step bend on the B string. You're going to walk down the scale again on the B string. Bend on the 20th, resolve on the 20th, and then it's 19, 17, and 15. Sounds like this. From there, it can get kind of tricky. It's going to be 15th fret, B string, and then a hammer and pull off from the 12th to 15th and back to the 12th. Then pick the 12th fret, G string. Then it's going to be 14th fret to 12th fret, G string, and then 14th fret, D string, back to the 12th fret, G string. This is where it can get really confusing. It's 14th fret, D string, hammer on, pull off on the G string, 12, 13, 12, and 14th fret, D string. Sounds like this. Follow that same idea, but this time it's G string, 12, 14, and then 14th fret, D string. Then hammer on pull off on the G string, 12, 13, 12, and 14th fret, D string. Put that all together and it sounds like this. <laughs> This next part is a chromatic descending line. On the D string, it's 14, 13, 12, and then 14, 13, 12 on the A string. Then play a bar on the 12th fret G and B strings. Sounds like this. Now we're back to the main theme of the song. The first note starts on the low E string. It goes 5-3-5 five, five, and then 3rd fret A string. That idea is then going to repeat 5-3-5 five, five, low E and then 5th fret A string. From there, it's a hammer up to the 7th fret A string with your ring finger, 5th fret D string, then 7th fret A string and slide down to the 5th fret and pull off to the 3rd fret. You put that all together and it sounds like this. <laughs> From that point, you're going to alternate between the A and E string. It's going to be 5th fret A string, 3rd fret E string, 5th fret A string, and 2nd fret E string. Repeat that again, and you'll finish the solo section with an A power chord. It sounds like this. <laughs> Well, 
thanks guys for watching. Go ahead and click here to watch the next tutorial and we'll see you there.